Hello, it's another wonderful Thursday, and I'm right here at Asuka in Kumase, and I'm at an office called CSI, Center for Social Innovation. What are they into? I know it's a hub, but what specifically are they into? Follow me today as I speak to the manager, the founder, and the staff of CSI to know exactly what they do. Let's go in there. Hello, this is CSI, and we are going to go in there and speak to the manager. But this is a brief of what CSI does right here at the Education and Development Oriented Social Enterprise, empowering people of all ages to develop innovative solutions to development challenges. So don't forget that it's Entrepreneurs Moment with Kwachwa, and the show is supported by Hacker Space. Think Africa Institute, EMB Ahimfe, High Ghana, and High Loyalty. Now, hello. Uh, good afternoon, good morning, whoever, whoever they are watching us. Right here in Ghana is afternoon, so good afternoon, yeah. Good afternoon. How has it been? It's been great, and uh, it's good to have you. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm under you, like, good yes. to have me. So, we are right here at CSI, and I'm going to speak to Yao Edu Jemfi, eh, Senior Yao Edu Jemfi, because he's from Prem Ben. He keeps saying that we should call them Senior Yao. Um, tell us what CSI is all about. Okay, um, thank you, and uh, also thank you uh, to your viewers, uh, and the greetings to them, and uh, good to have you as usual. Uh, for CSI Center for Social Innovations, and um, for us at CSI, we are about uh, educational social innovation. We are looking at uh, social enterprise acceleration. Uh, we're also looking at research mainly into innovation. Uh, we've done some research with the help of the Open uh, African Innovation Research, uh, basically looking at uh, informal sector research, okay. uh, especially in the Sun Magazine, looking at how we can tap into the uh, potentials of Sun Magazine, help them to be able to enhance their innovation in terms of this governance and in terms of also scaling up their businesses. Um, so yes, if you look at um, the uh, repertoire of the things that we do, is from education uh, through to research, social enterprise acceleration, we have a co-working space as well, and we're also looking at um, uh, 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 sustainable community development. Sustainable community. So how long has CSI been here in Kumase? Yes, uh, we're, we're founded in... Um, in, in 2015. Okay. And so basically, there are three of us uh, who are co-founders: uh, myself, Yawa uh, uh two other others, uh, Ben Sinajay and uh, Collins. Okay. Uh, so it was basically because we're sort of frustrated uh, with the way uh, our educational system was like, okay. where it was mainly root learning, where young people who are um, uh, in school from upper primary uh, through to the tertiary level, um, just through root learning, they learn past exams and that's it. And, and so, if you engage them in problem solving, in creativity, uh, it became a problem. Okay. So then, um, we first uh, started something else, which was Kumasi Center for Life and Learning, basically to look at how we have continuous learning, especially for uh, businesses in the informal sector, but we added education to it. So we shelved the plants with the Kumasi Center, uh, center for uh, Lifelong Learning and then we moved on to the Center, uh, center for Social Education. Basically looking at how can we improve uh, educational outcomes uh, through uh, coming up with a program like Young uh, Social Innovators Program where uh, we empower young uh, teachers and also the young students to be able to work together to identify uh, assets and challenges within their communities and match the assets to, assets to solving some of the challenges that they have. And so, and so it's, um, uh, for us, it's, it's important that young uh, kids or young students are able to learn about problem solving, they need to learn about uh, working together, very important, because it's all about me doing my own thing and also and passing my exam, but not working together. And so that's, that's, that's how it got started. But so, then we we'll moved into uh, other areas such as sustainable community development, empowering uh, leaders in the community, and also entrepreneurs to be able to identify assets within communities and leverage those assets to uh, 
uh, addresses some of the challenges that communities have. So it doesn't become like, uh, what do others outside have for us in the community, but asking the community what do we have okay. to address as well. So it's, CSI is not all about agreeing because from outside, whenever you ask questions, when you talk about CSI, people are talking about agreeing, agreeing stuff or agreeing related programs. Yeah. So it's not really all about agreeing, just like you know, no. why is it that you are associated with agreeing anyway? <laughs> it, it was because when we started doing the sustainable community development program. We had a partnership with uh, Global Brigades, okay. and almost all of the projects that we were working on were basically agri-related. Huh. And so, especially in the central region, uh, Kufi, to be precise. And so, most of the uh, programs we were working there, whether it was working with agri cooperatives mm -hmm. to sort of uh, enhance their operations through entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. or uh, building bucket energies for uh, for bakeries. Mm -hmm. in, in, in and things like that. So we're more working with in the agri, agri business sector, fruit processing, uh, um, uh, uh, baking, uh, also other uh, agri, agri, agri produce. And so that's that's how we we got the niche uh, in, in agri. And of course, if you look at our hub of the 15, um, 15 or, uh, of the businesses that are going to be funded by the government through the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Plan. I think about about ninety percent of them are. Agree. Okay, so if you just came online, if you just, you are just watching on YouTube or Facebook, you are watching Entrepreneurs Moment with me, Mami Bachakoko, and I'm talking to Senior Yao MP of CSI Center for Social Innovation. Don't forget that the show is supported by Think Africa Institute. Are you an NGO or charity organization? Do you need consultancy services? Do you need leadership services? Then I would recommend Think Africa Institute all the way in Sierra Leone, but they are ready to come wherever that you invite them and they are going to train you, consult for you, for your NGO to become sustainable. You know that recently it's not easy for NGOs to be sustainable financially. You need a consultancy services. They work uh, on programs with the European Union and all that, so you can imagine what they can do. Think Africa Institute. Visit them on their website www.thinkafrica-institute.org www.thinkafrica-institute.org just like you see under the screens the show is also supported by Hi Ghana Hi Ghana uh, so um, you know sometimes you are looking for employees uh, you are looking for interns, interns it's very difficult for you to get now I would recommend Hi Ghana for you just look for them on LinkedIn and look for Irene and then she's going to help you get quality employees. They get them, train them, take them through a series of exercises and then when employers need them, they connect them. Are you in the house and you're also looking for employers, not just any employer, employer that will pay you very well, then I would recommend Hi Ghana for you. They have a sister company as I always say, High Loyalty. So I know that CSI is into research and all that. Yes. Now, High Loyalty, what they do is that they help you to write your content. They also help with customer feedback and customer research. So for your all your customer service, customer experience content, customer feedback, contact High Loyalty. The High is H-I-R-E. And I always say that you can always have, find the High family on LinkedIn. We are talking to Senior EduGMP. If I take the senior out, he's going to kill me, so I'm not going to take the senior out. Now, y'all, um, I know it's not been easy. 2015 to now is like three years. Yes. So how have you been sustaining yourself? Okay. So I, I, I like the part about the NGO that helps uh, to be sustainable. Yeah, I think I'm part of the Because recently we are helping on, uh, on the, uh, the social enterprise policy. Like I was saying, I like the part about... Uh, this organization that is helping NGOs and charity organizations to be more sustainable. Um, because for us, um, we are also working with the um, social enterprise, uh, SE Ghana, uh, to work on a policy. Okay. That policy has to support and also making uh, enterprises more sustainable, especially those that are uh, starting off as NGOs and then veering into social, uh, social enterprise. And of course, I mean, there's uh, the legal framework too is a problem because. Uh, Either register as a business or NGO, but there's no space for social enterprise. So, mm -hmm. so it's a good thing. For us, uh, we we are able to merge between services that bring money and services that we can do. 
Okay, so for instance, we do a lot of grants, for, uh, search for grants, and so we have grants like from Google that helps us fund the uh, social enterprises in Italy, but uh, not the sorry, the educational innovation. So we are also looking at other programs that we will also run. Uh, we are looking at them giving bringing in money. Oh. So we don't just use our money to do any other thing. So we'll be looking at young community innovators, for instance, the participants. Are we bringing either a partner to take uh, aspects of the cost, or we make the participants pay for it? Uh, at least some uh, amount that will be able to help us to cover our, our costs. So that's that's the model that we're using. Uh, but but it's a thin line. It's difficult. Yeah. Uh, because uh, sometimes it's, you go through a dry period. And uh, you have to be able to think through and be able to come up with something. But it's 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 it's, it's, a, it's a challenge uh, in terms of how to navigate uh, such a process. I was actually coming to the uh, to that because nothing is ever um, easy. Uh, you started going through. You are sustaining yourself, but then there are challenges. So, and I know there are people who watch it, especially in startups, who have ideas and all that they want to go through. But when we come and we talk to people like yourself, who give, uh, tell them that yes, it has not been rosy as they are seeing you now. There were challenges. Then they are able. So I love the challenges part. So tell us what challenges for the past three years. Have you guys gone through and how were you able to even overcome it? Yeah, I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll take it on three fronts. Mm -hmm. uh, the first has to do with, uh, I would like to leave the, the funds to the third one. Everybody <laughs> says funds, 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 money. We I, need no I think, fee or I think no the, fee. The, the first one is about relevance. Okay. Um, how do you make yourself relevant? It's not about um, always being in the media and talking about what you do, but it's always about having uh, uh, showing relevance and also having a niche. For instance, we've captured a niche for ourselves in the area of social innovation, uh, educational innovation. So we need an educational sector. We've been able to work with stakeholders and, and we are about to publish uh, three years of our work, uh, basically in the so social innovation space with, uh, within the education uh, sector, where we have a curriculum to help with empower students and teachers to be able to do uh, uh, social innovation within the educational sector. So that will be published uh, by the end of the year. Uh, and so that's for, for us, it gives us uh, something to be proud about. Mm -hmm. um, so, so it's a relevance, you need to be noted for something. Um, and so that, that one is a challenge because there's so many things moving around and, and there's a challenge of also funding. So uh, sometimes you start off doing health, but then funds at health just go there. So you, are, you, are, you, are, you need to move in. So people are, you know, you have to be changing what you do and, and, and trying your hands on other things just to stay relevant and just to ensure that you are also moving with areas where the money is, yeah. because otherwise then you get stuck and then you have to fold up. And, and so that's that's the first one. The second one has to do with uh, a team that is dedicated. You know, wow. having a dedicated team is is, is, is it's, difficult. It's very difficult. I mean, everyone is, is is looking at um, the point where you have to pay them some, uh, some appreciable level to be able to also uh, stay with you because maybe they don't. The the vision is not theirs, and so. They, they, you're, you're not going. You're going uh, months without money. I and mean, sometimes, as one day, you go months without money, months without paying yourself. Uh, but you can't have a team also do the same thing. So, how you juggle between how do I satisfy my team to be uh, to be dedicated, and also with the little funds that you have to be able to stay relevant is, is also a challenge that uh, you have to deal with. It, it doesn't. It doesn't take. A couple of days or a couple of weeks to be able to do that. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a year or a couple of True. years to be able to, you have to juggle between different models to be able to do that. For us, uh, we're still struggling at it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's, it's a good struggle for us because it helps us to also, um, as we train, because we're also a training organization, yeah. we train a lot more people and so we have uh, people people just passing through to be able to help us. The third one, then the last one will be funding. And the, the, money, the, money, the, the money, 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 larger. fuel, <laughs> yeah. the, the funding, I look at it in two fronts. One has to do with uh, money from services that you that comes in, and then the other one has to do with grants. Mm -hmm. For organizations like us, we're able to attract some grants. So either with the US Embassy in the European Union, or the government of Ghana, uh, or um, through other grants that come uh, from 
Google or other companies, or even sometimes uh, corporate uh, organizations in Ghana, just that they won't give you a number of much. Yeah. Um, so I look at also in the funding sector, I look at it on two fronts. Uh, funding, sometimes you leverage to be able to get funding for enterprises that we need, uh, that, that you are supporting, for instance. Uh, with government through the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Plan, mm -hmm. um, we, we got we, we, we posted about 64 entrepreneurs who went through uh, a month or so of acceleration, acceleration, and after that we were able to uh, we were able to build them up, we were able to help them develop their business plans, uh, help them to go through the process of uh, being able to develop very good value propositions. Uh, help them to be able to do uh, focus on their market research, develop their market research very well, and, and and make a very compelling case for themselves. And so, 15 of them are going to be funded. Wow! Uh, Congratulations. That. Thank you. And I think that's that's something that the money is not coming to us, but but, then, but it's going to enterprises that we support, and that's yeah. another model. So that's that's one other side. The other uh, side of it is money that comes to you for you to do programs, okay. and so that's where uh, this money is coming. Uh, private enterprises like Google and uh, also others coming in from uh, other agencies like the embassies or, or the UN. That means that you need a good team to even write a proposal yes. to even to assess yes. those funds. Yes. And if you don't have those good teams, that means that you are missing out yes. on all those yes. funding. Yes. Wow. And it's also motivation. Sometimes, you know, that you're having your team doesn't mean that uh, they are on you with recurrent and you have to be paying them uh, yeah. with recurrent funds. However, if you, uh, you can identify uh, those that are motivated and want to do certain things. So for instance, if you want to do other business, you want to look at other business and social impact and things like that, then you look for brands uh, that are able to support the kind of work that they do. And so when they are motivated, they help with uh, finding the grants and also uh, supporting to be able to get the grants and then implement the kind of activities that you highlight uh, within the grant making. Uh, Makes three challenges. He first talked about relevance, teamwork before funding. And I can say that um, it costs a cost when you are a startup. That is why I introduced to you another hub, a competitor probably called Hyperspace. They are supporting us as well. For Hyperspace, it's more into the tech industry and startup as well, helping them to uh, get relevant, to learn how they can write proposals out there. And uh, Hyperspace is located opposite STC at Edum. Hyperspace, uh, you don't need money in this era that landlords are charging huge sums of money. You've just started, don't waste your money. Just add the money, invest the money into your business and then go to have, come to Hyperspace. If as little as 15 Ghana cities, you get internet access, you get an office desk space, all you need is your laptop, no bills to pay. And then you are there and you are working. And once you are there, there is an ecosystem, there are other residents there. So you already have customers at your disposal that you can start selling. So Hyperspace have innovative events coming up. We have a photography class, which is coming up uh, on September 6th. We have a um, great event, uh, a movie, a movie uh, program that is coming, Entrepreneurship Movie Night. We have Book Reading Night. We have a great, great, great event. Visit our website, www.hyperspace.com forward slash events. www.hyperspace.com forward slash event. And then link up, go through their uh, website in order to know the events that are coming up. Don't forget that every month we pick a theme and then we talk and project. And this month is about finances. Finances, how to manage your books, how to cope with your books. It's very difficult for entrepreneurs. How to cope with our books, bookkeeping. So this month we are doing a session on coping with the books. We have videos, we have motivation, we have articles on finance. Don't forget, search all our pages on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram. And on Twitter is Hapa Space H A P A S P A C E www.hapaspace.com. Don't forget E M B Ahimfe and their service Kaya App Services. You been Juja? Are you busy? He's always busy. And congratulations! I heard your wife has put it to bed. Yes. Okay, a baby boy. So now he's only in Kumasi. He wants to cook. He's at work. Look at the time. 
how can he go to central market and buy his stuff? You know what, yeah. Just write your shopping list. Go to Play Store. Type Kaya app. K A Y A A P P. Kaya app. Download it. It's less than six megabytes. Within three minutes, you are set with the registration. Just take a picture of your shopping order. Send it to us. Bam. You will do the shopping. If you want us to bring it to you here, or because of traffic, you want us to meet you somewhere so that you take it, or you yourself, bear market, you want to come to market and choose the things, and, they carry it. and then they carry it or hold it for you. We are ready to do that. That is what Kaya app is doing. We connect busy persons, persons who are not able to go to the market with groomed Kaya years. Listen, with groomed Kaya years. It's not like the Kaya years are just there. They are being groomed to believe in themselves. They do beats like I'm doing and other skills that we are teaching them. So we connect them so that they can get some small knock of you to keep on with the work that they are doing. Go to Play Store, type in Kaya app. Look at the screen. The Kaya app is there, down there. Yes, that's the spelling. Just download it from Play Store. And then off you go. Kaya app, you been too jack. Now, we are talking to you with the of of Center for Social Innovation. And he's telling us about CSR and what they are doing to help startups, especially community engagement. Now, um, yeah, what is the future like for CSR? So I see you have nice offices, um, you have a space uh, training room. What is the future like for us here? So here, uh, a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking goes in here. So you have, you have uh, a lot of these posters on, uh, on our walls. Okay. These are people thinking, going through stuff. So that's uh, like design thinking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so going through stuff and uh, highlighting the, 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 the sort of ideas, the sort of projects that they would like to work on. Okay. Uh, recently, we had the uh, British Council supported active uh, celebration workshop, and so people are coming back with their ideas and. Uh, some of the outreaches that you want to do. Okay. So for us, the future is about sharing. Share. Uh, we want to, as much as possible, share uh, our years of experience okay. uh, because for the three of us, we have, we have a combined experience of our 40 years. Wow. Uh, doing different stuff. We are doing work in sanitation, water, health, uh, economic empowerment, finance, um, you know, different aspects of our lives. And uh, we are dedicating that to CSI. Okay. And so, um, in, in the future, we want to be able to share. With, I talked about uh, the, the issue about uh, printing, publishing uh, our work, and also our curriculum. Chill. Our curriculum for social innovation in the basic schools. So you now you know that basic school is from uh, upper and uh, primary level to SHS. Okay. And so that's that's the kind of area that we want to be able to uh, publish and also help uh, enhance educational outcomes. So we also want to publish um, our curriculum for tertiary level okay. and uh, tertiary level for young entrepreneurs and young community leaders to be able to uh, undertake community innovation, you know, yeah. work with community members, identify challenges that they have and also match that to the assets within the communities. Most of the times you have community members think that everything has to come from outside. Uh, we want to be able to grant, uh, do this, and all that. Yeah, through our programs across seven regions in Ghana, we've been able to highlight and show that uh, you can be able to level the assets. Assets in communities are plenty. Sometimes it could be your natural resources. Yeah. It could be a river that that's, uh, that has a very interesting story, uh, or that, that's clean. It could be rocks. It could be sand. It could be uh, the history of the town. And it, it, could be a, be a it, it could be that the, the town has has a history of entrepreneurship, yeah. has a history of working together. Like going away for painting and all yeah. that. So, so you leverage that to be able to say, okay, how can I, for instance, use going away for this? How can I leverage on the rich history around painting uh, to be able to economically empower? Okay. So every other economic challenge that uh, then how do I, you know, how are we able to utilize the fact that. Uh, you have this rich in the history to be able to address some of the economic challenges that they have. So, so that's, that's another curriculum that we want to publish. Um, the other one has to do with going full scale with our social enterprise installation. 
because we know that within the last three years, we have people come through our programs, and so we need to be able to support them, uh, to be able to support them, um, to improve on, uh, to be improved on the uh, their delivery, their delivery in terms of um, the idea that they have, the project that they have, and things like that. So, so it's uh, the future is multifaceted for us, but it's all about sharing. And we think that the more we share, the more we gain uh, in terms of the uh, the knowledge that we've accumulated over time, and also um, the sort of impact that we uh, we have made. So we want to be able to share. Wow. We, we, we should come back and then do another session, go to the field and do another session because this is a lot of information for just 20 to 25 minutes. But then uh, there are startups that should help and there are other startups out there. What would be your final message to them? I, I would say that uh, it's not easy starting a business or even an idea or a project. Um, however, you need to be resilient, you need to uh, seek help. Uh, you need to be able to uh, be open about this, the stuff that you are doing uh, so that others probably doing a similar thing uh, could help uh, as partners or as collaborators or as, uh, as, as uh, supporters of, of that project or idea or business. And I think once you're able to do that, you have an open mind about it, uh, it, makes it, it makes it easier to be able to, uh, uh, to, to attract support uh, for whatever that you are doing. Uh, with resilience, let me try and explain a little bit. With resilience, um, it's not just about getting up and going. It's about when it gets tough and when things are not moving the way it should be, you get up and going. For instance, um, today you end up, uh, things didn't end up well, but you go and you, you're lying on, on the bed in the night, uh, it's morning, and, and you, turn, I mean, you think that, oh, do I have to really go? You have to. And I think that's, that's where, that's where the, the, the challenge is having to be able to move away from your comfort zone and be able to engage, to be able to uh, be bubbly about your idea and to engage and, and get other people to support you is, is, is the point, is, is the way to go. It's always about the ecosystem, getting people who are like-minded like yourself to be able to engage and support you the project. Thank you. Thank you so much, Yao. Um, I'm so much impressed with Center for Social Innovation, right? And I'm watching this and it's CSI skill with the purpose. Wow, I love that. So CSI is located at a spa, just adjacent Joy Flux Hotel, and in the same building as Vibe Montessori. The same route as Stendium Hotel, right? Yes, you should come here and then you will learn a lot. Um, thank you, thank you so much for allowing EMB to come into your home. But don't forget that when you start with the publicity and everything. Don't forget that we have a service called Alicia Civil Services and we are ready to help you with all your social media marketing sure. and management and all that. Sure. Now, it's been a wonderful day again and my name continues to be Odipro of Odipro. It's been a wonderful day again and my name continues to be Mami Wachakoko. Odikro of EMB Ahimpe and I've been talking to Senior Yawodijemp of CSI. As I always say, be a boss, data boss, build an empire. And don't forget CSI, slay with the purpose. And the boss means that build and self success. See you same time, mystery. Is a wrap here at CSI.